Say hello to the camera, Pete. What's up, y'all? I never thought I would end up living here. But I also didn't think I'd be in a wheelchair or that I'd be a poet. Every day we're rolling. And I definitely didn't think I'd be a filmmaker. And there has been news breaking by the hour about the novel coronavirus outbreak spreading across the world. Nursing homes scrambling to increase safety protocol. We're going to need medical capacity on a scale we've never seen in the history of New York City before. The Kohler facility on Roosevelt Island, it is being immediately brought back online. I've been filming everything inside. All of us be filming. I'm pissed off that we're like the forgotten ones. I observed yesterday ambulance at the ambulance at the ambulance, bringing people in and out. Corona, Corona. You had me confused and confined. They put a patient in my room, and he's telling me that he got the virus, and I got underlying conditions. Like, these people don't care. If this was an all-white nursing home, this would never happen. How long do you think it'll take before everybody in the damn place is infected? But to me, that's like throwing me in a goddamn lion's den and closing the gate. How do you sleep at night knowing that you're responsible for so many people dying here? You know you should have a conversation, all right? Welcome to Colin Max Prison, run by people who lack any vision. I don't think our mental health is looked after. My God. A nursing home is ground zero, but it just takes one person with a virus, and then it is fire through dry grass. Will I survive through these hard times? Or will I become a victim of this silent killer? They say nobody knows, but somebody always knows something. Now, if this is being read after my departure, just know I fought. Nursing home! Lives matter! For my soul, I didn't let the devil capture. 